Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a new show for y'all. Shout out to my son. He graduated his class of 2018, yeah. Summer Creek, Zachary Tug. Go, go in a little detail about your son, man. Well, I mean, you know, he's uh, he was pretty accomplished. Uh, right now, we haven't decided on what college he want to go to, but he's definitely got a lot of options. Definitely. Uh, he finished 17 out of 578. Ooh, that's so, up there. Yeah, he definitely did his thing. Made mom and pop proud. Yeah, definitely proud of him. I and so, uh, but but we do have a preliminary that he might be going to school in uh, Houston, oh. uh, University of Houston downtown, which is my alma mater. But we we see got a couple of rice, mate. We are gonna see what happens. We, we got some options. We got options. We got some options. <laughs> we got some options and stuff. So that's uh, that's what's up. What's up, Dre? See, I got my Rockets hat on, baby. Go Houston Rockets! Hey, let me tell y'all something about them Rockets. Now, I watched the Cavs the other day, okay? okay. I watched the Cavs. I sat up there and watched them. They don't look like they can beat the Rockets. I mean, if you watch them all playoffs, it looked like they're on life support. Oh. And then at the end, somehow, miraculously, James saved them. He saved them every time, I man. just don't see him saving them against them Rockets. They got too many big guns. They got too many big guns on the Rockets. I mean, know? you know, and I, and I know it's kind of solid. We talking over Golden State, but they gonna, they gonna take. Yeah, them. we we talked over them. We done wrote them off. Huh? You can't. <laughs> Golden State, we wrote. Y'all gonna let us write y'all like that? I, I guess so. Huh? That's what's up. That's what's up. We gonna and, and we playing home. Oh which yeah. Which is what we fought for all year long. So I believe that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the thing. What's what else happened uh, over the weekend here? In uh, Houston, other than the heat, yeah, it was hot out there. It was hot. They had a lot of events and stuff. They had the uh, the, the Motown at, at uh, Herman Park. Okay, okay, that was okay. Nice. Seen a little outdoor of, theater. Okay, yeah, they had a lot of people out there. Had a lot of festivities going on. Motown. Okay, put it down. People spending time together, going to the. Uh, uh, I went out earlier to uh, Deucey Park, uh -huh. and uh, there was some stuff going on out there. A lot of families, a lot of like I say, barbecue eating, people coming together doing some doing some things. So hey, everybody that's out there, be safe definitely if you're gonna be drinking, be responsible. That's responsible, man. Yeah. We we started the show kinda early because we gotta go after right, we, okay. we, we gotta talk some we gotta talk some noise. We're gonna say. Gonna, you know, I'll be up in there high. Go rockets, that's all we're gonna say. Now y'all know that I've been trying to get on the rocket bandwagon for a long time. Well, Zach, Zach say somebody gonna hurt me behind his hat. Somebody gonna cut you with an old rusty blade. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, people are serious about them rockets, but yeah, I'm trying it's to been what, 20 years, maybe? Since yeah, maybe? Since, since we won something. So it's yes. time, man. They changed the logo and everything, man. It's changed, time. changed a lot of things. But you know what? I was, uh, it wasn't the last game they played. They lost in Gold States when they won here. And they showed King Elijah on sick in the audience. Mm. And it was just like, just legend. He got to by far be the greatest center that probably ever played the game. Oh, yeah. You gotta give a shout out to King Elijah on, definitely. He couldn't be he stopped, man. It was like, he was actually, they didn't give him a lot of props, but he was a lot like LeBron. Yeah, but see, you know, okay, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a play. 
and this is not taken away because one of the things that's not getting talked about LeBron is the, the good work that he's doing uh -huh. outside away from basketball. Exactly. Uh, I think he had donated like some millions of kids to go to school. And so that's that's what one thing that don't get talked about. But the boy do got some swag. I mean, I'm not gonna knock him on the swag. He got some swag. Got well, he's a James, you know. He, he, there you go. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> James, you know what I'm saying? He was he was destined for greatness, right? So yeah, so that's 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 one of the things uh, uh, with him that I always get overlooked and it's just expected. But I mean, getting to these conference finals ain't easy to do. But he seemed to be doing it like every yeah. year. Every year you get. Every year you get that, no matter who team you're on. Mm. They say next year you might be with the Lakers. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> what, Kobe retiring or something? Kobe gone. Kobe, Kobe gone already? Right. Two, maybe three, two years ago, something like that. Really? Hey, right now, I, I what, seen a video he was playing some street ball. I mean, he might be trying to come back if LeBron come. He might come back. I'm just saying, they come out of retirement. I'm just yeah, saying. They do, they do. So I mean, you know, they just that's just putting out there in the atmosphere. Wait, Kobe gone? Kobe is. Yes. Kobe might not be like officially gone. His car, he might still have his parking space, <laughs> but he definitely is gone. Gone. He don't have his. You know, I think they retired his jersey, or whatever. Mm. So you know, that's you know, I think he gone. So well, yeah, it see, is what it is. I didn't even know he was. Yep. See, everybody knew him like a drummer. I mean, I'm just saying. Everybody. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> everybody cried when he walked out. <laughs> Get that game winning shot against Byron Scott. Everybody knew where Joe was going. I'm just saying. Uh oh, we got some people in the building. All right, well. What's up, sorry. fat dude? What's, What's going, going on, on, man? All right. Uh, one of the coldest poets in the game. Oh, wow. Just, wow. just tapped in. Hey, that's what's up right there. Uh, Damn. Yeah, but, but we, we got some news, man. I got, I'm going to tell y'all about this news stuff. It's so much stuff be going on. I might miss it, and I might hit a lot of it, but if I do miss some, y'all can call in and let me know. That's right. Hey, Black, such and such, such and such happened. I'll be like, oh, yeah, because I've seen a lot, but I didn't, you know, I didn't, yeah, that's, that's a lot. We only got a little bit of time. So if y'all want to call in, the number is 713 714-7670. Y'all can call in and remind me if y'all want to talk about something too. Right. But the name of the show is Talk Up, so we gonna talk up about what we talk up about. And uh, yeah, 713-714-7670. Any scales going on this weekend? Anybody in uh, entertainment? I ain't had no, like, no Kanye or nothing going on. I'm, I'm thinking we cool. This oh, oh, what was it this week? Uh, it talked about Marvin Freeman. Ooh, so, yeah, it so, was this week. So, uh, Something to him? You know, I mean, my, my, my thing about it is Marvin Freeman, everybody, you know, everybody went in from Lean On Me. You know, yeah, he was, uh, well, no, Lean On Me, that was the one. You yeah, know? they caught they, they, well, he used to call me Joe, but now they call me Batman. You know what he tell him on top of the roof? He said, he said, you smoke crack, don't you? smoke crack, don't you? Yeah, and uh, he what you call him. And so, uh, Cole 10, wanted to take the chain yeah. off of the thing. So, definitely one of the great actors. And I don't know, I want to ask you about this here, man. Do you think this is just, you know, a ploy? Because, I mean, they, they, and this is not in no way going against the Me Too movement. Because if it, you're being violated, you should report it. But, man, it seemed like hey, everybody Dave. coming out. What's up, D? It seemed like everybody is coming out. And you know they are bringing some of this stuff up, and we know with the Kyrie situation, he kind of told on himself. But this stuff is like coming out, and it's it's, it's starting to look like it's it's an agenda. Mm. And, and what, what does it look like? I said I just I think it's an agenda. Mm. But, but 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 I mean I mean on on the uh, the white uh, people that's been indicted. <laughs> Uh, they say Morgan Freeman is a nasty old man. Yeah, he might be. I mean, but he's not the only one. If he gets in trouble, let everybody a, get in he's trouble. He's a he's an old freak. That's this is what he is. But see, okay, you, you, those of y'all that, that that know about like the movie and the movie industry got a nasty history going back. You know, in the fifties when the producers owned. You know, they actually own the uh, basically. The, the actors, yeah, and so you could, you know, if you was an actor, 
you could be sent to do this movie and, and you could be blackballed. So, I mean, once again, it needs to stop. But, uh, man, come on, the, the voice of God. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, he, played he just did a, uh, what was this? Uh, uh, he was some kind of trying to find God, but maybe you know, he wasn't trying to find. He was, he was rolling with the devil, maybe. You know what I'm and also, he did the voice of the, the, the penguins, the, the documentary. Well, I mean, yeah, but he wasn't he wouldn't thinking about the penguins, though. What he was thinking about? He says, did you, what you say, did, did you have a relationship? What did he say, we do? Did, did he have a Yeah, I think. No, that was his step, but you forgot one word, step granddaughter. That's still nasty, though. I mean, it's step granddaughter. What's up, little Rella? What's up, Zeno? Hey, come on in the building. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely. Uh... Oh, we got a call coming in, y'all. All right, all right. Oh. Call from. Nice. Zeno Joe. All right. What's up, Zeno? You on talk up? Oh, we hung up. We lost him. Oh, we lost him. Call us back. Call, call us, call us call back. back. Yeah, definitely. Interesting topic. <laughs> Wait till we get going on further. Yeah. So I, the thing with Morgan Freeman, uh, yeah, that's right. All of them nasty. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> if he get in trouble, they all need to get in trouble. Don't don't just put him out there because his story just popping up. What about the other guys? You know. Well, hold on. The the first what was it? Her, Harvey Weinstein. Whatever. Harvey Weinstein. He ain't been dirty. Oh, well, I, I heard they finally started. No, no, no. To. They, they said he he t turned himself in when he wanted to. Yeah, like that's better. Man, oh. so I don't know. Let's all I just say is let's get the facts first. Let's get the facts. Don't you know this man has built a legacy, and you know I mean I don't know. I I really could, I really don't know what happened because between closed doors, between closed people. But my thing is, if it came out, if it's 20, 30 years ago, it makes you kind of wonder What's up, Jerome? what the motive is. He said, what he say? It's, uh, uh, can we was trying to... Because I was trying to get... Oh, you're trying to get the number. Yeah, you called. It, you was on. We was on. We was live. Call back. Yeah, call back. We lost you, man. You hung up. You got nervous. You got nervous? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Just call back. But uh, yeah. Um, What's it? Seven one three. Yeah, seven one three, seven one four, seven six seven zero. You said uh, these says those uh, allegations are recent. Oh, for okay. uh, for Morgan Freeman. Okay. Oh, for Harvey Weinstein. Oh, I think. Well, Harvey about? Weinstein is the one that grabbed uh, Terry Crews, right? No, no, no. But he he was at Harvey Weinstein party. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. See, and see, that's the thing that he he was grabbed and violated in front of his wife, and you know, it's a lot of these people. That I don't think that's gonna get any kind of nothing's gonna happen to them because notice, it, and I'm just being honest, when they mention them, like a black person, it stay in the news forever. But it just seemed like when they mention them, other than like nobody's even mentioned the Kevin Spacey no more, like on uh, 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 Char uh, Charlie Sheen. Boy, everybody knew Charlie Sheen was a fool. But listen, he's he was knowingly giving people AIDS. Yeah. And they they like wrote that off. But, like, but he was also sleeping with prostitutes. And, but that still was wrong though. But yeah, he was. Yeah, that's wrong. In every sense, man, it's like, oh, it's okay because I because he said I'm sorry. No, it's not okay. I wonder how much that check was though. <laughs> he you know he wrote a check. He had to write a check. Oh right? yeah. See, he he, he have to he have to be on the same gauntlet as R. Kelly if, if you let me, let me tell it. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying? You know they love R. Kelly now. They love R. Kelly. Hey, hey, here's my thing. You know, if you're gonna keep supporting the music or these people, you're saying, well, you know that. Uh oh, uh -oh, okay. uh -oh. We got one coming in. Oh, we got one coming in. Call from Lena Joe. Hey. hey, you back? I, I hear you. What happened to Cuz? Oh, what happened, Cuz? It's all good, man. What's going on? <laughs> Talk to us. What's oh, on? man, that's too much, bro. What's going on, young man? Man, I'm just, man, you know, 
I'm going through this something with this Maryland stuff, man, you know. It, it's loving it. Okay. You know, people, you know, on the house and, you know, I'm right here in Houston, man. This just happened to us, so, you know, I'm just seeing some stuff on Facebook, like people laughing and stuff, and I'm like, man, what's funny about people getting fucked out their homes? That's it. Oh, man. That's it. And, 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 I mean, when, when it hit here, we left our house on the boat. And uh, just yeah. by the you grace of God, our house didn't get flooded, but uh, no, this is serious business. And then uh, the, the psychological effect people have after that they got to deal with starting over and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's a whole, yeah. some people lose everything in them floods. Everything. Man, we lost everything, bro. See, King lost everything, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's material stuff. See, it sounds like that man God calls it. Oh, your family, bro. Cause that's the only thing people wanted. They, they didn't care about the Lexus and beans and all that. They wanted their children and their mamas and daddies. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say C King, you on my side. Not until tragedy happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you you said C King, yeah, you on my side. That's the side I was on. Yeah. Just so uh, literally, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 the Bavari area I'm at, it it just came to my garage doing stuff. And, uh, yeah, well, thank God for that. But we a lot of people got lost. Yeah, uh, C King High School, and oh, so yeah. man, we man, we was it was. Y'all was on top of the high school. school. I already know. I'm telling you, I had to. We went down C King and Tidwell on the boat. Yeah, we was on a swamp boat. That's the only way to get down. They had helicopters yeah. down. It was it was rough. Yeah, but hopefully those uh the yeah. people get the help that they need. That's that's a good point. Yeah, that whole area. You y'all uh y'all whole area got. It's like a bucket. Up. It's like you can't. When she Bro, you know what, everything we lost, I don't care about none of that, we still had our life, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. At that point, I wasn't worried about the stuff we bought, the design of shoes, man. Yeah. To H-E-Bill, how many was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you what, I, I walked out to my street in the middle, and I was in waist deep water, and I was, I was like, man, you know what, we got to go. Because they, was, they yeah, opened man. up that water, and we didn't know because the neighborhood across from us, water was already on the second floor. And we like, we're not finna be trapped. We're gonna get out. Mm -hmm. Because the news reporters, they was telling people, hey, uh, uh, y'all just stay and don't leave. And like, no, nah, man. Right. And we hear we hear these uh Coast Guard helicopters over our head, and we like, no, nah, it's time to go. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's that that yeah. side of town still recovering. They not they don't mention that on the news though. But they talk yeah, about, no, now they're gonna mention that on the talk about Kingwood. Oh, hey, you yeah. can ride around here right now and still see trash from the flood, yeah. bro. People still open their garages with no walls and stuff. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But like you said, we might like hit hurricane season again. Right back again. And just like you said, people on Facebook, they laughing and going on about other people, but when it hit home, they want to be like, oh, uh -huh. help, help me. Oh, feel sorry for me, oh, woe is me. Right, 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 right. Same thing with all these other tragedies that's happened. Same thing. Right, 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 right. I heard y'all talking about Martin Freeman, you know. Right. It, man, it's not no surprise to me that these brothers, that these women is telling their little dirty secrets, bro. Because mm -hmm. they're always trying to be like the, you know, the, excuse my language, but the white man. Well, you can't do what the white man can do. He right. can't even do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, man, because at the end of the day, it's not these people, it's God resurrecting all this stuff. Man, how long do you think you don't do wrong get by? Mm. Man, mm. you better tell them. Mm. It's something <laughs> we just caught a word right there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. You know, people trying to impress people, but they, they define with God because if you're supposed to be a Christian, you know, they, you got men cheating on their wives with all these right. people. Man, you are wrecking the union of God, bro. Yeah. Yep. You made a vow to not only that person, but God, you know, he, he gave you his daughter. And what father do you think gonna let you cheat on his daughter and not do nothing about it? Hmm. Mm. Come on now. What, what, what was that movie with Jamie Foxx? Uh, was it was it Player Club? He pulled his pistol out. Yeah. And, and oh, then yeah. said, let me, let me talk to you right quick. Yeah, let, me show you. let me show you. Whatever you do with my daughter, you see this? I'm gonna do to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, no, definitely though. You know, I, I just, I'm like, you know, I have to chump the ignorance because unless you went through it, I mean, you really don't know because that that side of town really was forgotten. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm still people, like I say, recover every day. I, I'm all passing by that, so 
definitely thank you for bringing yeah. the points up because they need to talk about that you know because there's some people in Houston like I know when uh, JJ Watt had uh, he had got all that money mm -hmm. you know, that money came uh -huh. outside uh -huh. it went straight to King I'm telling the truth it went all the way over to Kingwood mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of other places and yeah, I'm not saying those people not, didn't need it, but we they it was man, a look. <clears throat> my wife's job Thank God, put us up in a, 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 a hotel on the southwest side, bro. Okay. Them white folks were so mad because when they opened that attic there, see, it wasn't supposed to flood over there. But I was talking to a white man, a business man, bro, big money man. He had to stay in the apartment. He was just shocked, dumb, fine. He couldn't believe it. He had to stay in these type of conditions. Mm. Well, well dude, like, I'm looking at DC, she like, they like to use those pictures from uh, Tidwell, and that was true. When we got down, uh, on the, uh, we was on like the swamp boat. When we got to the end, while well, reporters in, I think it was Ted Overby uh, from 13, and he came over like, man, we ain't trying to do the cameras right now. You know, we just trying to get safe. And he didn't have the camera, right. he was just coming to us and just talking like, how is it? And we say, listen, it's people that can't get out. Uh, and, and like I say, this is what, nine, 10 months? Ago? Nine months ago, yeah. Nine months ago, yeah. Nine months ago, and it's still people, uh, you know, recover. And you know what? What was really not getting talked about is the kids, how they were affected. Yeah. You know, because they had to go to school. A lot of them lost their clothes. They lost right. uh, a lot of stuff. You know, and you know, kids. Yeah, bro, are, you wouldn't believe the type of stuff I see in them shelters, man. When the kids had to deal with. They got. Man, they got men and men in the same thing, sure, doing sure, things sure, that they ain't got no business doing. Well, you keep I will, watching that, listening to that conversation, bro. Well, I will tell you this, brother. We went to the George R. Brown Convention Center for one night. Oh, it was great to go. We, it was it was dope smoking. Uh -huh. People was having sex up in there. Uh, yeah, uh, we people, had the people, people, same thing. People got robbed up in there. Okay. Oh yeah. So check this out. The next morning, uh, fortunately, my, my brother, my older brother, came and picked us up. Uh, you know, they we couldn't get blankets. I mean, and, and on the top level, they was getting different kind of treatment. Mm. You know. Uh, oh all, yeah. They was getting. They was. Uh, I think it was the next morning. They started having all the reporters and. The police came, walked everybody up that was sleeping, said, y'all need to get out of the way. We need to show the reporter people standing in line to feed them. And uh, it ended up, uh, like I said, I never, I never, if I can, God willing, I, I'm a, I won't go there again because it was, it was, it was, they made you feel less than a, a, a citizen. Man, that, that's horrible when people right. take advantage of situations like that. Oh, Not yeah. just taking advantage, just do anything in any type of situation you if you're in a situation where people actually need help and here you are doing anything in front of kids in front of different people right smoking right. weed or whatever dope and, and in front of other people robbing people when they right. don't really have nothing at all that's all they got right. man well, yeah. it, 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 but you know what they're gonna have to answer that you know what i mean right they're gonna have to answer that one of these days bro they're gonna meet they make that god don't answer now why did you do this <laughs> what now mm. why you set up you know what I mean? now, now this is what you about to get <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly yeah it's it's uh like i said it was it was awful but yeah man yeah you. it was but but you know it was an experience to be that experience right there it humbled a lot of people because what you want to do with them very things you always kept about in the club? That couldn't buy you nothing when Harvey came here. Right. What was what was that what was that saying? You can you can't take a hearse to the grave? Is that what it was? Something like that. You can't take a U-Haul. Yeah. Yeah, U-Haul to the grave. But you're right. You couldn't and it would and, and, and a lot of power was out, so if you had credit and uh, you, you know, you did the car, yeah, you didn't have the yeah. access to that. You that car, couldn't do nothing. Yeah. You couldn't do nothing but wait on somebody to, to give something to you. And, yeah. and this ain't mentioned, it was a lot of price, uh, price gouging too. Oh, yeah. Little old thing of water, $20. Oh man, bro, I paid $10 for a, a, a six pack of water. I believe you. Wow. Yeah, I believe you. It, it happened. And you know what? This happened. And you put tax on it. And this happened when uh, the last storm came, when they was doing it. This was right when Rita came. Yeah. Right after Katrina, yeah. they did that and they said they was going to put in measures to correct that so that wasn't going to happen again, but that, that, that shit didn't happen. They ain't been corrected yet. They do what they want to do. Well, man, yeah, they do what they want to do. We appreciate you for, for yeah, bringing man, that thank, to us. Thank you for calling in, man.
Yeah, yeah, man. Well, hey, cuz, man, look. I mean, it's your Facebook and slide you my number, man, because I want to talk to you off the app, man. Yeah. I ain't going to be on the app with this. <laughs> hey, well, hey, but no, but no. We glad right. that you are because people didn't hear this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you know, uh, I'm down to tell the truth. It wasn't really happy, you know what I mean? But I ain't going to be on the app with it. Man, I thank God for the opportunity. You know, you know that's I hope you go all across the airways and they really hear about it. Oh, okay. yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, you know, man. But I tell you another thing, ain't nothing gonna get done unless we do it. Yeah, oh, exactly. And that's kind of what we people buy the money, they can sell their soul for a dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why we and got on that note, I love y'all, man. And appreciate you. Huh? Appreciate you, man. Definitely. Oh, man, y'all, I appreciate y'all, bro. Anytime y'all have a, 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 a conversation, I'm probably gonna call, man, but I'll be on there supporting y'all on my page, though. All right, All right. yeah, yeah support, baby. That's what we need. <laughs> spread yeah. the word, because we trying to spread yeah. the truth. All right, Sugar Black, I'm going to get at you, boy. I love you, man. All right, be good. All right. All right, man, you too. Man, ain't nothing like when family come in. Show yeah, love man. and support, man. See, we need them kind of calls like that. Man, Yo, that's what I'm saying. Y'all make me cry. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. And, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's something, uh, you know, with, with, with my kids' uh, school, they were affected a lot. So, um, they talked about that, not at the graduation, but at one of the little things. And the, the way some of them kids, they would hold their head up high. And some of them might only had one pair of clothes on and they wore it every day. Yeah. You know, but they, they kept their head and they finished with, they, with, you know, with good grades. Yeah, they pushed know? through. And they pushed through. Matter of fact, uh, uh, D, she could probably pull this up. D, what's their motto? I think it was, uh, oh, attitude is everything. Mm. You know, it is attitude is everything. If you got a yeah. good attitude, no matter what you go through, and you know what, this this is, I'm telling you, that, that, this was something because it's probably somebody out there that need to hear that. You know, that's going through it and trying to figure out how to get through. You know, get right. my house stuff put back together, and uh, we need to we need to those that can that can help and support definitely. Y'all need to definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. what's. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So we got a little too- see, see, but that was that's one of the stories that I didn't really catch. It's a lot of stuff out there, and that's what I was saying earlier. It's well, a lot of stuff out there. Did you did you see the one with the the woman that was driving, and then the police officer pulled her over, and then they were saying uh, 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 she had lied on the police officer. Yeah, said that he messed with a funnel again. Yes, they I started to parade her, and then it was like. You know, they were getting in on them and people saying, and this is why. And I'm saying to myself, well, that still don't justify killing unarmed black men and, you know. Right, I, I heard about that. Okay. And, and I, I I think, so what if she lied on them? So what? Maybe she was trying to get a little justice from from what he happened. said that she ain't right. <laughs> well, she, she she wasn't right, but I understand it. They, you, you know, you call in and talk on it, and if you want to, uh, I mean, we definitely trying to get different opinions about people uh, of what they saying, and she probably wasn't right. She she ain't right. But they but, blew they blew that one story up though. But yeah, they blew it up, and also they they when they lie on us, we can't defend ourselves because we dead. Oh, we yeah. dead. Well, even sometimes if we don't. Look at uh 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 what's that 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 dude that got choked to death in uh, New York? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Eric Gardner was it Eric Gardner? Yeah, Eric Gardner got yeah, choked to yeah, death. Yeah, that yeah. was on tape. He said, "I can't breathe." He wasn't doing nothing. So sometimes you get killed and you don't do nothing. Mm. So I don't know. Uh, I will say, you know, the the, uh, the people who are in law enforcement because there's some good people in law enforcement. Yeah, we ain't gonna just say that. There's a lot of good. But people. if you see some, do something. You know, don't let, don't matter of fact, uh, it is unfortunate that that guy was one of the good guys that she lied on. He was a good guy. And uh, okay. Okay. I don't know, maybe she was scared for her life, like like they always say. I mean, who knows? Who knows why she did it? Uh, maybe she was trying to get some revenge. I don't care. But it's not like she's. It's like it's not like one side is the only side that's lying. Both sides lying and planting evidence. Like the guy that shot the guy in the back, he went 
We saw him go throw the taser <laughs> next to the dead yeah, body. Yeah, he's going to throw it. They're just going to sit it there. Yeah, and then said he tried to grab my taser, which didn't even happen. So Well, I mean, body cams are helping in a lot of ways because no, but they, who's to say the ones they that... They're not helping. Well, I'm saying it's helping for us to be able to see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so we being aware. But then I wonder about them seeing so much. It's like everyday news, like, no, man, somebody died. That ain't right. It, we're getting desensitized. Desensitized? Desensitized. Yeah, yeah, I and, agree. But it, it, it's something else have to happen. I don't know what. Well, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but something else. <laughs> LA Rides, what you talking about. <laughs> Shoot. You know what? My, my, I will say this here. Don't don't tell your stuff. You right. Know? Because uh, where you going? You you tell up your uh, this this happened oh and I got and I and I, and, and uh, you know, your, your cousin that called talk about that was one of the you know it was a lot of good stories that happened during that time like the people that came and got us on a boat man was some some white guys from we don't know where they're from and man if I would try to pay them they wouldn't even take it but they was just good people mm -hmm. trying to help people and so you know the next day. Me. The next day when we got back, we went through a Fiesta parking lot, pawn shop been good, grocery store been good, all TVs on the floor, and then they didn't raid the store. And so now, if that's the only store in the neighborhood, what are you gonna get? What? Where your stuff coming from? Now? Well, you know. yeah. So that that that's definitely some stuff, man. And I I what you call it, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I want I want to I want to go back to Marvin Freeman. I don't think he is good. But I don't know, cause I'm just saying, like, if you, if you, if it is, it, 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 can somebody just say something without having proof? Can somebody just say something without it being like sexual? Yeah, cause I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this woman tried to apply for a role or something, and didn't. I don't know. Maybe didn't get it. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, if it was a situation where he told her. To, you know, come to my room at two thirty in the morning. What's up, Drew? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so see when you are in a situation, what do you do? I don't know. That's a good question. Like, if you're in a situation, I feel like anybody has a natural right to not get violated. And so, I'm just saying, if you're going to a business meeting, right, and then somebody puts out, you know, a bottle of brandy. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. This is supposed to be a business meeting. Hmm. What, what, what's the brandy out there for? But they do that though. Yeah. They do that. Or like, he bring you the brandy and you didn't see him pour it. Mm. Now see, that's Bill Cosby ish right there. Well, I wasn't going to say <laughs> Bill Cosby ish. I was just going to say that's. But people go to dinners and stuff and they drink wine, they eat, they, they eat and they drink. You yeah. know, they get drunk sometimes at business meetings. And. Well, yeah, they do that to get business. They do exactly. They buy right. a round of drinks to right. get business. Right. Sometimes business deal go through. Sometimes it don't. But nobody get fondues in the process, and it shouldn't. Right. Right. You shouldn't be trying to rub on people's hand or skirt or. You know. My thing is, if it happens, suppatoria, and it's taken immediately. You know, I mean, I mean, if it's if it happens immediately, and they talk to the police again. I understand that. But I don't know, I don't know the statutory time, like how do you, how do you do that? Hmm. Uh, what do you say, that time up in, uh, what do you say, in brandy and small, in small That little sip of brandy in a small glass. Yeah, that I mean, might, that might seal the deal right there. Well, my thing is if he don't, <laughs> if, if he not drinking, the and, and he set the drink out and he say, there you go, and you, you know, that might be a red flag. I'm just saying. You don't see no other brand around. He just magically brought some brand and set it down. <laughs> he pulled out his shirt pocket. Yeah, he just, he just, you know what I'm saying. You want to be part of the team. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But it's a lot, it's a lot going on, y'all. What else going on out there, man? We just trying to keep it together for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bring y'all the good stuff. Now. Go, you still Rockets. Go, Rockets. What now, time of the game come on tonight? I think it's eight, man. So we're gonna be cutting this short in a little bit. We gotta go. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta go and put it on speed dial. We got a little time. We got a little time. But I got uh, in Kentucky. Now check this out. <laughs> in Kentucky, 
in the United States of America, a coal miner was shot by the police. Well, he was black, right? Well, he was at the time because of his job. He got real dirty on his job. He was shot by five times by a cop Wait, because the cops thought he was black going to a <laughs> nice vehicle. Do wait you a minute, wait a minute. So explain it to you again. Break that down one more time because I want to make sure I heard that right. These guys was getting off of work, some white guys, they was all white, but they was dirty from being in a coal mine all day. Okay, that's right. Okay. Right. And dude walked up to the car. Now I don't I don't know where you see black people this black at. Yeah, well, that's black black. That's coal. Charcoal <laughs> just <laughs> like I saw some charcoal. I bought you yesterday. I know <laughs> how the dog charcoal lives. Like, I mean, you're talking about like up That's here. Color. That's yeah. I don't know nobody that that dog. Still, I mean, I'm silky black, but I'm, you know, no, this, this, this is a different kind of black dog. Yeah, this is that's charcoal. This, yeah, that's 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 the El Negro right there. That's so, that's that's dog black right there. So, this is the story. The dude was going to his car. He comes to him. No, he he here. Freeze. Don't move! Get on the ground, nigger! <laughs> wait a minute. So, wait a minute. Wait. so he called. He called him in, nigga. He okay, called okay, him. Okay. Wow. And his witnesses, y'all. Wow. His with Freeze. So he nigger. So he called a white man a nigger. What was what was what was the white man reaction? So he was his reaction was like, oh, he ain't talking to me. He can't be talking to me. I'm I'm white. Oh, so he proceeded with his privilege to get in this vehicle. So he, he proceeded to get in his own personal vehicle. Okay. It didn't even matter if he was black or not. He no. had the key to get in his vehicle. Wow. Bow, 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 bow. Five bow. times. Five times. Did he die? Didn't die. Wow. Luckily. That's a bad so thing to work. Whenever, whenever. But let's but hold, on. Whenever, well, hold on. Whenever they went over to him, the the uh, his his coworkers like Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? And he was like, this is a black guy. And then when the cop got close, he, he realized he wasn't a black guy. So what the cop? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you. See, this is the problem right here. They, how come this isn't getting I'm no airplay? I'm sorry. How come this isn't getting no airplay? I had to find this, this, this news story. Wow. Y'all gotta look it up, man. Kentucky. Yeah. Kentucky. The only thing I know about the Kentucky What's is up, Mark? the Kentucky Derby. Daddy and Muhammad Ali. What happened? Ain't he from Kentucky? I don't know. I think he's from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Louisville no. Slugger? Louisville Slugger. Louisville, yeah, yeah, Louisville. That's all you ever hear about it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I watched this video. Up, Mark? Um, and this was a, uh, it was a black guy. He was standing by his car. Mm hmm. Car was running. Police officer walks to him and asks him for his uh, registration and stuff. And he said, "Why?" He said, "It's illegal to have your car running and you're not being in." Uh, he said, "But I'm standing right here." And so he proceeded to, you know, speak his rights or whatever. Next thing you know, he down. Right. Next thing you know, he getting, you know, uh, mistreated and stuff. And you know, this type of stuff just goes on. They they even had a video with a uh, basketball player getting tased. Look, D posted the, the link up there. <laughs> Thanks, D. Put up, uh, put up the link there. She was quick with it, too. Yeah, she, she quick. I like that. Yeah, yeah. she on top of it. <laughs> she definitely on top of it. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, this type of stuff happens, and, you know, this is, you know, 2018. Man. Hmm. What, what happened to So, he got arrested for that, for standing by his car? Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, and what was even more interesting than that, and we're gonna get all this police stuff because this stuff is just really much about. Okay, now you mentioned about the the white coal guy, the the, the, the coal oh, mine. Okay, I saw a video that had a white guy who worked for the railroad. Uh oh. Okay, so he had he was standing by his truck on the side of the. This cop, I don't know, it was a white cop. I don't know if this cop was belligerent or if he was drunk, but he was cussing, he was yelling at the dude, he was pulling dude, and the white dude was like, yes sir? He said, don't you say nothing again or I'll shoot you, and then what's cop? He said, well all I did was answer your question. And so he sit on that car, and if you don't sit on the car, I'm gonna do this and do that. So, I mean, when he went and looked him up, 
The dude had all his paperwork. So he goes to him and tells him, he said, well, look, you know, uh, I'm gonna take you to, uh, I'm gonna let you go this time, but you know, if, if, if you was, you know, if, you, if you're gonna go on and you're gonna be uh, filing a complaint, I can take you to jail, because it don't make me wow. no money. And the dude was like, no, no, that's fine. He was like, he said, well, did you learn anything? White guy said, oh yeah, I learned a whole mm. lot. Mm. And walked out, but he took the cuffs off. I mm. thought, and I'm not no legal expert, may have some people that are legal experts. But I thought that when they put the handcuffs on you, you had to go to jail. Because if you putting them on them, you're arresting them for something. Mm -hmm. Because it's illegal to arrest for, to to falsely arrest somebody. You can't just detain somebody for no reason. That's what I thought, you know. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the, uh, but they pretty much do what they want to do. Yeah. And that's why it's so scary out here. Well, and, and, and then too, you 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 take uh, cuz I think it was when it uh it's usually like one of those little small Little rule. Oh, I forgot. We got to bring up. And, and, and actually, I had gotten this story from D. Uh, I was watching uh, something she had posted, and this was a story. Uh, you remember where Sandra Bland she got uh, killed, like out there in like Huntsville, not Huntsville, Prairie View, Prairie View area, whatever. And you know what? That was some story. Of some young woman who got in a car wreck. She gets in a car wreck. Um, instead of them taking her to the hospital, she gets detained. Okay, she's detained and dies because her injuries weren't treated. And it ended up being the same jail that Santa Bland died in. Mm. But nobody's talking about it. So. Yeah, they, they, they try not to bring no attention to that county, I guess. So they won't be sure. No, but down. I mean, you know, when people die, that should be. That should be big. Should be. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be yeah. because of us. Yeah, we need to spread the word to get the people. Dude, you know that link? You know what I'm talking about? Put it out there so people can see it. Yeah, man, that's ridiculous. Yeah, How are you getting a wreck and not go to the hospital? Yeah, they, they just hurt. Them. They detained it. They said, no, you can't go. You can't go. You won't get no help. No, you will get the cell. Bleed internally yeah. from injuries. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about you? Come on. <sighs> Yeah, we gonna, we gonna cut it short in a little bit, y'all. We about to turn off. But before we go, we wanna talk about this NFL. Niggas for oh, I'm sorry. What what what? Uh, what was, it? Uh, uh, was it niggas for life? Oh, it? <laughs> <laughs> the National Football League. Just, Na uh, the National Football League. Oh, the National League. Football League. Oh yeah. wow. What did what did the National Football League do this week? This week. They came out and said, if you players take a knee during the national anthem, you will be fined or fired. That's that's a... a or, uh, yeah, I heard, I think it was fine. The, the team will be fine. And eventually it could lead to you getting terminated. Now, that's... That's a... a Declaration. That's a violation against a. Uh, no, that's a declaration of war to the players, pretty much. It's, I mean, I, I, they make it. They make it happen, you know. They, they make it People, happen. Uh, they using their bodies for yeah. entertainment. They they getting banged up. Yeah, yeah. They might not be the same in three, four years. Well, they, my whole thing is that. And you what, can't say nothing about. But here's the thing, though. Okay, what what, what 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 they saying when they take it to knee? What are they doing? They they saying that they disrespecting the flag, which is no, not true. At they all. Pro, they protesting the song. No, they they protesting the police brutality. Right, is what it started out as. Right, and the racist song that they sing every every game. Right, uh, no one wants to talk about that, but they protesting all of that because some of this stuff needs to to stop, man. Some of this stuff needs to be cut out because, okay, you got these players that's, that care about their family members, them, they, they actually, some of it happens to them. And nobody wants to be eating ice cream, sitting in Starbucks, mm -hmm. uh, coming out of Airbnb, mm -hmm. checking on your rental house. Nobody want to get harassed by the cops. Wow, yeah. All of this stuff, man. And we just bringing attention to that 
that's what they bring attention to, not disrespecting the flag. And, and disrespecting the flag is people laying on flags that look like, their flag. look yeah. like towels. Right. Or wearing them around their wrists while they ride motorcycles or right. uh, there, there's, no, bikinis. there's no flags in, in the in the meal taken at all. But you know what? Uh, I what I want to know, and you, I don't know, you may know about this, is, is the way these uh, players, um, you know, contracts are structured because it seems like in the NBA, uh, you know, LeBron just say whatever he wants to say. Hmm. And uh, there's no repercussions like as in with the NFL, and I don't know. Uh, that this is this is a very uh, hot topic issue because uh, you're right. They, these guys are protesting, you know, and that that's part of their uh, uh, civil liberties. I mean, you know, the the First Amendment gives you free yeah. speech, and so I don't know. This is something that 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 they're gonna have to, you know, take a look at and. Um, this is my thing. There, I've been hearing people talking about, particularly in, I mean, I'm just going to say it myself, uh, you know, banning uh, watching uh, NFL this season. Yeah. You know, just because of the help the protest. But it's going to take, I, in my opinion, if they really want to address this issue, it's going to have to take some big name people who aren't scared, who are willing to put, you know, their name up. Maybe, you know, they put their job up and, uh, you know, some people will say, well, you know, well, that ain't right for somebody to put their job up. They didn't work really hard. But this is how, you know, um, you get stuff done. well, that, and this is, but this is also how uh, remnants of uh, slavery, ideologies and stuff like that keeps rearing itself back in. Right. Because when a, when a news, uh, that personality, that guy that, that got on the air and he's just said, uh, they shouldn't be saying nothing, just shut up and run. Yeah. I mean, when you say that, like, these are, that's just like, these are grown men. That's like, just like saying, you getting whooped across the back, yeah. picking cotton, you're like, I don't want to get hit no more, just shut up and pick that cotton. Wow. Yeah. Pretty much the same. Well, I mean, you know, you, 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 man, this is even more of an issue. That was a, um, this was a painting I saw a few years ago. And uh, on one side, you had NFL players lining up, like, oh, against them. Yeah. And then on the other like, side, it was like cotton picking. Yeah. It was something like that. An auction. It was an auction, yeah. And so, I don't know. Well, uh, I Well, I do, I do have uh, Kim folks that's in the NFL. I, I got okay. an actual cousin, and I got a, a, a homeboy. Right. Well, he's from Vinton. Dak Prescott and uh, Elandon Roberts. Okay, okay. You know, okay. two of them guys that, you know. Pretty good in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. they they yeah. real big in the NFL and I, I care about them, yeah. but I don't, want, I don't want them to have to be put on a chopping block because well, and I think they want to speak out against them. And I think that's the thing. I think some people, for some people, it's a personal thing and they want to address it. And I think for some people, it's like, look, you ain't gonna change the world. While I'm here, I'm gonna try to do what I can Get to make money. enough money, take care of my family. Yeah. Don't, don't. It, it, and then that makes you wonder: Is that a way to to take away from them too? If they speak out, this is like we don't know who's behind all of this. Right. All we know is that all of a sudden, you know, people are getting uh, you know, attacked and stuff. So definitely uh, something you want to. Uh, I don't know. We gotta talk about this. I don't know if anybody want to, you know. You know, send something. Maybe D we said, D said, really, if all the folks affected by police brutality start watching football, then they will pay attention. Yeah, that's true too. If, if we boycott football, we might as well boycott America because it's everything. It's all. It's happening everywhere. But if the players don't play, then it will be boycotted. Exactly. We don't have to. They have to find something else to do. And you talking. The players get paid millions, but NFL makes billions. Yeah. And so, oh, and and I want to bring this up. Boycott America. This is this is not this is not even. Uh, um, there's no owner, no no minority owner in the NFL that owns the team. Course. So, and I think sixty to seventy percent of it is African American, and it just goes on from now. But I mean, I suck. Mm. -hmm.
Definitely need to <laughs> sit boycott out America. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe this, uh... Boy, God, America, Wakanda, forever. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, Lord. Well, we're in a bad spot right now. Hey. We're in a bad spot, but we, we, uh... You know what? It's gonna, it's gonna, let me, this is how I feel like. It's bad. You're gonna have to be able to get uncomfortable time. Yeah. People who will benefit from it don't want to talk about it because it makes them feel guilty. Hmm. But, you know, it's happening right in front of your face. You know, and you see these things and it's like, oh, okay. And the news, the news, the news is biased because the news will report a story one way with one group of people and then when another group of people come and they report it another way. One, one, one it, uh, situation they being victims in another section they criminalize on them like they you know, predators and all kind of names that they use, right, to, 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 to make people feel a certain way. And so, I mean, where people, where where is the truth? You know, people people are, I don't know, maybe newspapers. Are people still reading newspapers? Yeah, people aren't using Can't get the news fast enough? Can't get the newspaper. You, you, gotta, you gotta have a Twitter account. You gotta have Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. Black Twitter. Black. They have such thing as black fun? Like a real, it. it's a, real. A real app? I'll tell you out there. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you out there. <laughs> it's a real place. Okay. It's like Wakanda. Oh! It's like Wakanda. <laughs> it is! We found it. It is Wakanda. It's a real deal. <laughs> I had it broken down suddenly. It was like, you know, you know, like in the Matrix, you get that red pill and that blue yeah. pill. You know, do you really want to see how far the rabbit hole go? Yeah, you yeah. really want to see? Oh, it's oh, real. Okay. It's real. Do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to the Rockers, James Harden. Uh, man, them guys. And Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Hey, is he coming back? Chris huh? Paul, is he playing tonight? He not playing tonight? No, I'm, I don't know. No, I'm he, 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 he's he still out? That's okay. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. We no, it's not. No. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not gonna take your hat off, is you? I'm about to take it. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, hey. Take the hat off, wait a minute. I, I burn it on air. <laughs> I burn it on air. You can't take the hat off. We need to win, right? We need Come on, win. man. We need, this city needs to win. You know, we still, like, like uh, uh, when you're cousin, we still hurt for hard. You know, we, we still need to hurt, man. Come on, man. Come on, give us a win. We need a win, and then we can, we can beat the king. Because, uh, uh, LeBron, come on, man, man! How much money would that revenue through this city? How many jobs that create? People still find? got blue tops on their house. We need you guys, man. Come on, Houston Rockets. We need to win. We need to win. Yep. If, if, if y'all don't win, this hat gonna be sitting on top of a blue tarp on top of one of the houses that's been flooded. So it has a hole in it. It got a hole in it. It's gonna be stopping the water from coming in with this hat right here. So y'all got to do something. Do something, John Q. You remember that? Yeah. She said, you got to do something. And then he kind of just kind of shook a little bit like, yeah. you know, that's when he pulled that, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sometimes you push. So it's almost game, it's almost game time, right, the kid? Yeah, we about to, I think we- Well, we finna go. We I got to go. Hey, thank y'all, man. Was that definitely uh, having fun. Yeah, man. Talking uh, about some things. This is talk up. We gonna y'all catch us every we we started a little early today too. That's right, that's right. We started right. early trying to get y'all gotta get to that game. Go rockers, baby. Go. Wait a minute. Go Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. You, you can't you, you can't take the hat off <laughs> and then put it back on. <laughs> and then say go rock. And then say go rock. I can't I can't do that. You just said five minutes ago you was gonna burn it if they don't win. If they don't win, but I'm, win I'm riding with y'all. I'm I'm riding with y'all right now. Somebody gonna cut you with an old dirty rusty blade. Well, y'all gonna have to cut because y'all <laughs> cutting my heart. The rockets is cutting my heart. I'm, I'm, I'm here, baby. I'm here. All right. All right, y'all. We out. We out. Hey, thank y'all for uh, watching. Zeke and uh, Silky Black. And I'm Silky Black, baby. Silky Black. Peace out. Go Rockets. And we out.